it, it is a, a pretty phenomenal group of inductees we have tonight. I, I have the honor of being on the selection committee for the Kentucky Athletic Hall of Fame, and one of my favorite days of the year is is that induction ceremony every year. And, and when we go through and, and pick the legends that are, I've seen and many of them are here tonight. Many of the, these same people are in the Kentucky Athletic Hall of Fame and, and Bob White here as well. And this kind of even takes it another step for me because having grown up playing uh, CWS, CSAA sports at St. Margaret Mary and, and my, my family has been, uh, my mom went to Sacred Heart. My dad is a graduate of St. X. My sister went to Sacred Heart. And, and then you get in this first class and I see Mr. O'Toole was my physics teacher at St. X. Mike Silliman, the great story I always tell is that my dad and Mike Silliman led St. X to the 1962 state title. I'm not 100% sure that my dad played a minute that entire season, but I've got a picture. Uh, there's a team picture, and it's up at St. X, and he's in it. So I could, I could make that claim. And then, of course, Will Wolford, who's become a good friend over the years, too. So cool to see him. I'm glad you finally made it, Will. W without further ado, though, our first speaker of the evening, our, our, our next speaker, our host, is Billy Reed. As a former sports editor at the Courier Journal and the Lexington Herald Leader, he has authored 18 books. He's written 800 Sports Illustrated stories. We've actually got a couple guys here who've been on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Will? You've got that great picture. I've got one of those frames. Billy, of course, a guest, a frequent guest on radio and TV, sharing his vast sports knowledge. The guy knows everything about everything that has happened in this state for the last 60 years. He's recently organized the first ever reunion for the 1972 U.S. Olympic basketball team from Munich. They all came into Georgetown. Doug Collins, all the guys, that was really a cool thing. Billy, a champion of ethics and character in sports. He serves as the executive editor of the Louisville Catholic Sports Network. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Hall of Fame journalist, Billy Reed. I have uh, three uh, duties here tonight, and one is uh, to talk about um, Catholic Sports Network. Uh, <laughs> you know, as I look out here tonight and see this group, I can't help but think about uh, it was just a couple of summers ago when I got a call from this guy named Steve Fader, who I didn't know from Adam, and uh, we met at Mitchell Seafood, and he said, I've got this idea, and I liked it. And that's all we had at that time, though, was an idea. And a little bit over two and a half years later, we're doing uh, print journalism, we're doing uh, internet journalism, we're doing radio, we're doing TV, we're, uh, we've partnered with Bellarmine, we've pa partnered with the Catholic Schools Athletic Association. Uh, this is really one of the fastest growing sports endeavors in the country. And I'm confident that when a lot of cities around the country that have large Catholic populations see what we're doing here, uh, they're gonna wanna emulate that. So I would like to ask Steve Fader and all of the great hardworking staff at Catholic Sports Network to please stand up and for a round of applause. <laughs> now our 13 inductees, uh, some of you uh, uh, people in the audience who are close to my age might remember uh, the old Ralph Edwards TV show, This Is Your Life. A and that's exactly what I feel about these inductees. Going back to when I was a young guy, I wasn't even 10 years old, and went to Crosley Field and saw Gus Bell hit a home run for the Reds. And the very first college football game I ever saw in person, Howard Schnellenberger caught a pass from uh, Bob Hardy. Uh, and, and on up into uh, uh, my dear friend Mike Silliman, who uh, I covered when St. X won the state championship in 1962, and I was there again in 1968 when he captained the United States team to a gold medal in Mexico City. And on up to the more uh, modern inductees, uh, uh, Will Wolford, Bubba Paris, and Mary T. Maher. I was there in, in uh, Los Angeles in 1984. Uh, when she won her gold medals and just blubbered like a baby. Uh, 
People have asked me what's the greatest accomplishment ever, and I just can't think of anything higher uh, than representing our nation and winning a gold medal in the Olympics. But two things about this group that, that I'm really proud of. First of all, obviously, we've got such a, we have uh, Super Bowl champions, a Heisman Trophy winner, a national championship football coach, a winner of a major uh, uh, golf championship, uh, Olympic gold medalist, uh, a fellow who played in the World Series. But in addition to honoring uh, those individuals, we also have, uh, are honoring those who stayed here at home and worked with our young people and developed young people. Uh, Marty O'Toole, who I think has now won a zillion straight championships at St. X, isn't that right? A zillion plus. Uh, but uh, Carl Schmidt Sr. and Father Tom Gentile and Bunny Diary and so many who have uh, had such a great impact uh, on our society. Um, and the last thing, uh, you know, that uh, I'm really proud of is that uh, um, and, and this is the inspiring stories. For you young people uh, here tonight, I really hope you, you pay attention and listen. When you think about a, a, a Paul Horning raised by a single mother, in the West End and, and what he accomplished, and Bubba Paris, who had very low self-esteem as a young man, and Bobby Nichols, who almost lost his life in a car accident when he was in St. Xavier. To understand what these people overcame and what they did with their lives, I think is a, just a great story uh, for young people because, you know, if they can do it, then maybe you can too. Maybe you can't be a Super Bowl winner or a Heisman Trophy winner, but you can do something in your life to help society.